Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a logarithmic equation with natural log, which is ln. We've done a similar problem before, if I can find the link and if I don't forget, I'll share it with you here and also down below, or either one of them. We'll see how that goes. So we have ln 3x over ln 2x equals 3 over 2. So we could have something like this ln 3x over ln 2x equals ln 3 over ln 2 but it will be super duper simple don't you think because in this case then x would be 1 right away is there another solution that's a good question to ask you can explore that in your own time but let me go ahead and get to this problem for this problem I also have a joke to share with you and what is the joke joke means it's not serious, don't take it seriously, and don't try this at home. Especially on your math test, never ever try these kinds of things. Unless you want to make the teacher laugh and get a bad grade. Don't do it. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cross out the ln, and then I'm going to cross out the x, and 3 halves equals 3 halves, we're all good, right? What is x? I don't know, it just disappeared. Okay, again, this is a joke, not to be taken seriously, okay? Are there some cases that this works? Yes, there are some problems for which simplification like this works, but this is not one of them. There's also another joke, maybe I'll make a separate video on these kinds of things, but let me just share with you one more, uh, one more of those. And this is actually, by the way, we, we say these are jokes and don't take it seriously, but some people actually make these mistakes without knowing. <laughs> okay, so suppose you are trying to simplify something like square root of x over x, x cancels out and we end up with the square root symbol. What happened to the line? I don't know, it just melted. Anyways, again, this is not correct. Don't do it. Okay, let's get serious. So we're going to do the following. We're going to cross multiply. Let's do it. What happens if I do? Then I get 2 ln 3x equals 3 ln 2x. When you see the answer at the, at the end, you'll be surprised because this kind of looks kind of symmetric. Like you, you'd like to say, hey, 2 times 3 is 3 times 2. Well, when this is 3, this is not 2. That's the problem. The ratio is not a rational number. Because these are irrational, transcendental, really, really bad numbers. Okay. Anyways, so here's what we're going to do. I mean, obviously, you can't solve for, you can't solve for, uh, what is it called? You can solve for x from here. So we're going to use two different approaches here. What are those? One of the approaches is using properties of logs. Let's go ahead and do it. Remember where this comes from? You can send it back. If you had a power, we would bring it down. Now put it up. Put it up like this and like that. So this is going to give you ln 3x squared equals ln 2x cubed. Wow, that was easy, right? Well, yes. If you can see it, it is easy. So, what am I going to do next? Perform the exponentiation, which is a fancy word, right? And then set the numbers equal to each other. So, this one is going to be 9x squared. And this is going to be 8x cubed. Great. ln A equals ln B always implies A equals B because ln is a bijection because it's always increasing. Think about the graph, you'll see what I mean. So from here we have 9x squared equals 8x cubed. Awesome. Can we solve this equation? Yeah, very easily. Subtract 9x squared. Oh, by the way, don't divide by x, don't cancel out anything. Sometimes you'll get the right answer, sometimes you'll miss solutions. So don't do it, don't do it. 8x cubed minus 9x squared equals 0. What do you do next? Factor. Take out the greatest common factor, which is x squared, and then you get 8x minus 9 equals 0. From here, by using zero product property, such a, maybe we'll call it zip, zero product property, you can set each factor equal to 0. If you set this equal to 0, you get x equals 0. If you set this equal to 0, you get x equals 9 over 8. So far, so good? Yes and no. x equals 0 is problematic. 
Why? Because that gives you ln0 over ln0. Wait a minute, isn't that 1? Hmm, that's interesting, right? Let's rewrite the equations. ln3x over ln2x is equal to 3 over 2. And I got ln0 over ln0 equals 3 over 2. And that just means 1 equals 3 halves. Nonsense. But not only that is nonsense, but also ln0 is not well-defined. What? What do you mean by well-defined? Well, we just looked at the functions graph, right? ln x is only defined for positive x values. If we're dealing with real numbers, of course. In the complex world, things are very complex. So, x cannot be 0. To keep a long story short, discard the first solution. Is this good? Yes. If you don't believe that, you can plug it in. Trust me, it is going to work. Make sense? So far, so good? Okay. By the way, I hadn't thought of this problem, uh, the first method, uh, when I recorded this first. I don't know if I told you. I recorded, but then I realized the mic was off, so everything went to waste. I had to delete and start over today. Anyways, it was also ar around 3 a.m., which was late. So, second method. Anyways, this is good because now you get to see two methods. So let's rewrite the problem, ln 3x over ln 2x is equal to 3 over 2. So, what can I do? Well, I can go ahead and expand ln 3x and ln 2x because when you have the log of a product, right, like ln ab can be written as ln a plus ln b. I mean, of course, uh, a and b both have to be positive in order for this to be true, because if a and b are both negative, we can still talk about ln ab, but not ln a and ln b separately. We kind of have to use absolute values. That's why a lot of times people are going to use absolute values, but I don't like using absolute values. It just looks ugly. Anyways, <laughs> it's just personal opinion. You may not agree with that. So what do you do? Expand ln 3 plus ln x expand ln2 plus ln x, set it equal to 3 halves, and do the math. Math says cross multiply 2 ln3 plus 2 ln x equals 3 ln2 plus 3 ln x. And then bring the 2 ln x here, subtract ln x, and bring the, uh, the other guy here, 2 ln3 minus 3 ln2. Uh-oh, this doesn't look good. Don't worry about it. It's going to look good. Now we can write it as Again, put it up, ln 9 minus ln 8, if you put it up. And then the difference of lns can, can be turned into the ln of a quotient. And boom, we got the answer. x equals 9 8 as before. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.